it is now time to get the pigs out after they have incorporated seed that the guys distributed yesterday into the soil they will go to zone C via the animal lane and munch on acorns up there so let's see how that goes and could be a chaos we will see Initially, they are always reluctant because that was blocked and they are a little bit afraid of the electric shock because they are smart. So one has to lure them out. You can see how it's getting investigated. And once the first few decided that it's safe, the others will follow. And there's always some who are so afraid and look for a different way out. So the feedback does help. But it takes a while. Well, they go to right there where the spiral was and the door, the gate and they don't want to go any further so they need to be convinced Now the challenge is, if it takes too long, the others have eaten everything up and now look for more and then they might go back, back into A7, into the area to the left. Oh, but it seems that some more have left. You could say they are stubborn. Ah, see, the one went back. We try to do this in the calmest way possible because pushing and shouting and all that doesn't really help. Just creates stress for the humans and the animal and we don't need any of that. So let's just take the time. Animals don't have a clock. They don't understand a rush. They have all day. And there's one that went in and is doing his own thing. They're all guys. So, sorry for the shaking.
Oh, and as you can see, now they start to move. And there are some acorns under that tree. So that's always a challenge. But it's working not that bad. The only negative thing is that there are four that are still in there, so we can't close the gate. So the one that got back is now with the others and it seems that they are leaving. So there are these three that need to come out. And they need to come out before these here have finished eating the acorns. This guy has some other ideas and wants to join those to the right, but of course he cannot. the human gets more and more desperate. Whoa. Acorns are more attractive to them than the feet. Because the acorns are sweet. And that, by the way, is one of the things that you can only find here. So, these trees here and the Iberian pig, they belong together. So, you can take the Iberian pigs to another place and you don't have the same acorns. Those are sweet acorns and they come from these encinas. And these encinas only grow here. So it's very hard to reproduce the harmony berico in other places because it's not the same if you don't have the same environment. So there's one again that went back. There you can see. And one in in the opening. So these two just need to come out and then the journey is on the way. So maybe with some direct attention it will then go better. Like I said, acorns are more attractive. And now we have this one starting the journey up the animal lane. And now this could be a problem because they're not in a group. And there's still this one.
So now almost everybody has left. And now the problem gets bigger. But the good thing is that they are finding some acorns here and have not started to run to a completely different place. What we do want to avoid is that they go into the paddocks to the right. So far, they are walking up and down. So the idea is that nobody goes back. And maybe now these two will get out. This might be the moment. So that eventually the gate can be closed. It worked. Now the gate is closed and now the journey can begin. They are all inside, all 14. And they will likely not want to move, so we need to be patient. But in that case, the acorns have all been eaten, so up it goes. And there's one that is all alone and he takes advantage. Let's see how far he will venture. The others are behind, but they're now coming. What? And then hopefully they will all be joined together again. What? And then the whole group moves. What? One thinks they are stupid because they always want to go back. What? And as we can see, pigs can run. They can run a lot faster than a human. So 
If they escape, you won't catch them. So far it's working good. And by the way, we have a lot of mushrooms and as we are in a forest, that might also be an interesting product to cultivate in some areas mushrooms on purpose. Let's see. Now they have taken the wrong turn. Instead of going straight, they went right. But hopefully Juan can help to get them back into the lane. It seems to work. I will get closer, just in case. So that I can also do something if needed. But it looks like it's not needed. So, that is where they are supposed to be. Now Juan continues to be on the inside, just in case. Yes. The modifications turned this uh, string there off. They were able to pass beneath and of course there are acorns. But it's not so bad. So it turned out not to be a problem because they continue on the path we want them to be at. We just have to be a little bit patient. And with some incentive, they will keep moving. Of course, we don't want them to eat the acorns here, we want them to get to the destination and then they can eat all they want. So therefore, they are getting pushed a little bit. Now let's see what will happen. There's another tree. So they stop at every tree, which is good. So that the human can catch up. In comparison to last time, this goes a lot slower and calmer. The last time the larger group at some point ran away, but towards the destination, so that wasn't bad. But this is a lot calmer and the group is smaller, maybe that's the reason. And you can clearly hear them munching. It's a very nice sight. So now you can see how the ham is made. So 
Then we crossed the driveway. And then now the next stop. But we are almost there. Allow me to introduce you to our shop. It is located at our website kaimito.eu. One of the products is the world famous Iberian ham. After preparation in the butcher shop, it is kept in a huge amount of salt for a while and then hung from the ceiling in climate controlled ripening chambers for three to five years, depending on the size of the ham. People either buy a whole leg, which is between 6 and 10 kilos, or hand cut slices that are vacuum sealed in 100 gram pouches. As you can see in many of our videos, our pigs fatten themselves on acorns running around the land. The acorns give the ham a very nutty flavor, and after you took a bite, that flavor stays in the mouth for a while, just like with a good wine. So we have the fence not electrified here because we had some issues and with only those few wires down at the height of the of the pigs it wouldn't do any good either because they will just jump it. So this is maybe not the perfect way but it works and the destination is right there. So this is not a huge problem. Of course the doggies there to the left aren't really helping, but at least they push them away. And the humans over there, see them, um, push them in the other direction and therefore forward. So, again, not perfect, but it works. And here you can see what they are after. They are not fully ripe, some, but you can see they are brown and green, and the green part is what is not ripe. But if I pick one up, you see this is an acorn that they like to munch, and it's not fully ripe yet. Most of them have been knocked down by the wind, but there are many, and that is what they are looking for. So, and over there, they have made some progress towards the destination. I need to stay back a little bit to prevent them from going back, because further ahead there is a gate that one is now going to open, as it looks like. And then there is a solid fence, so they need to use the gate. You can clearly see how number eight there to the left is sitting, ready to attack. She is the huntress. So this is supposed to be the final push towards the gate. I now also have a function, just to avoid that they will go back. And there is one. Okay, this one understood. Thing is, if I jump in there, I will do more harm than good, so Angel is doing the job. To get these boys back to the group. All the others 
stay under the tree. So let's move him forward. As you can see, not much is left. Now this is the home stretch. So once they are on the other side, everything is okay, but they can also follow the driveway because up there the gate is also open and it doesn't really matter where they go in because the thing to the left is our zone C. That's the destination. Some are already in, while others are in the driveway. And we will see. So now again it's a question of getting these two boys out. <laughs> One is not happy. <laughs> he thinks that this pig has balls. Well, he has. Because they're all boys. Stubborn pig. So this is a new Andalusian sport. Soon will be part of the World Cup. And there to the left, that is the solid fence. So they need to come, come back and use the gate. That's a bit of a challenge, because they need to understand that first. And they want to go where the acorns are, and there are two trees. The others have gone on the inside and on the outside on the driveway. But they are at the destination, so it doesn't really matter. It is very difficult. We do have those boards to move pigs, but to carry them around is also a hassle. Eh? 
salir uno y traer uno del camino para abajo, si no, no van. Si no me dan todo en el rincón. Se van a meter todos aquí, pero bueno. Fíjate el color apostoso de ese, no te guys are desperate. So, that string is now up. And now there is a chance that this will work. Can't lift that up, but over here that should work. Okay, so one seems to get it, and the other as well. So now they are all where they should be. Problem solved, mission accomplished. And by the way, even here we have mushrooms. It's a mushroom year now. Which is very nice. So now they go in, gate gets closed, and that was it. Some swine footprints from these boys up there. Now I have bad luck. They suddenly want to go back, and that's a problem, because down there the gate is closed. Let's see, maybe I can get past them and push them up again, because if they go all the way back, the gate there is closed and that will be more difficult. So it's good that they stopped. Okay, that worked. Problem is I'm one and they are three. And they want to go to their friends. So I guess I better use a different strategy and go all the way back and open that gate so that they can join their friends there. Well, I'm lucky, one is there. So, one opens the gate, lucky me. So, let's allow them to join their friends this way. So, down we go. And then they just have to make a right into the open gate and they have rejoined their group. The beep you hear is the energizer. There is a problem with the socket and it will be solved in a moment. Probably the wire, the hot wire is touching the physical print somewhere and that gets a shot. So to the right there is the gate and hopefully they will go in there. Okay, so now they have rejoined their friends and now we have no problems anymore except for the beeping energizer. These insulators will be installed now over there because there are a few holes and 
this gets corrected easily by putting a string there. Because they know that the string is hot and they won't touch it. Yeah, as you can see, those insulators maintain the string a little bit outside so that it won't touch the physical fence and also prevents them from digging because for that they would have to go closer. And that is the quickest and easiest way to solve the problem instead of remaking this fence here. So now they get the feeder, so that we have a little bit of control, so that they learn to come down here for some supplemental feed, but this is not to really feed them because they are supposed to live now on acorns and what else they find. This is more so they come to a central place and we have a little bit more control over them. But it's pretty likely that they're not interested in that feed. But at least they now know that this is the place where they can find more food. And it's just at most five kilos for all of them. So it's next to nothing. Because the main point is that now during the acorn season they feed on that because that gives the hem the flavor. Well, at least one is interested. And I have to stress this, this is not to feed them. This is just so that we are able to see them every day. Because there is a lot of terrain up there and they might escape if they find a hole in the fence that we have not discovered. So it's better to teach them to come down here every day.